All right. So, what about biotech engineers? Like, I've uh, I've been asked question like that. Like, general science students, there are separate things. Uh, there are separate disciplines. But what about the biotech engineers? They call B Tech biotechnology. So, what are they doing right now? What they can do? Can they do PhD? Can they do uh, like uh, this B Tech from a good institute? Yes, they can do B Tech and M Tech from a very very good institute in India. That is Bits Pilani. So, what about Bits Pilani? That's all we are going to talk today. What is Bits Pilani? What is the Bits Pilani entrance test? How the test is being performed? Uh, what are the steps of the test? Uh, the examination details uh, and eligibility criteria, the form fees and all these things in this particular video. So, stay tuned to this video to know about Bits Pilani entrance examination where uh, not only uh, the general stream of other engineering candidates come in from like electrical engineer, IT and uh, mechanical engineer from uh, chemical engineer other engineers come in but also the BTEC engineers can also go there and there is a totally separate segment for BTEC that you can always go for Bits Pilani. So, what is Bits Pilani entrance examination? Stay tuned till the end. All right, so another very, very prestigious institute, BITS Pilani. And there's also another campus in Goa right now. So BITS means Birla Institute of Technology Science BITS. So what is the BITS Pilani entrance test? We'll be talking about that right now. Simple details. Why this test? To get admission in PhD program in BITS Pilani. That's our target. Courses offered, PhD offered in which of the courses? Engineering. That is chemical engineering, civil engineering, computer science, electrical and electronics, as well as mechanical engineering all of this for science background obviously there is science background because we are life science students we are looking for life science background here biological sciences chemistry mathematics physics and pharmacy from all this general science disciplines uh, students also can apply for it and uh, economics and finance humanities and social sciences management all this can apply for it application form releases normally in the month of june last week uh, exam or interview date is in the August middle to the end and final results published uh, in April May. Now, now in this particular case the final result if the exam uh, interview conducted in August middle then the result will be on September. But if it is in the Jan in the you know before like January February time then the final result will be in the April or May. So, mm -hmm. so ignore this fact because right now after Corona all these informations are a little bit twisted. Eligibility criteria what is it? ME, MTech, MPharm, MBA, MPhil or any equivalent degree with a minimum of 60% aggregate in the qualifying examinations and uh, MSc, B, B farm or any equivalent degree with 60% aggregate in qualifying examination. So this first one is for all the engineering courses. The second one is for the life science or our general science courses. Age limit nothing provided right now in this point of time but obviously do not cross it uh, beyond like keep it 28 years for for boys uh, for girls as per csa net standard it, it is 33 so 30 years is something that you can keep as age limit for now and selection process selection will be based on written test as well as on interview two different rounds will be there application fees is 2600 for all category there is no mercy no separation everyone need to pay 2600 rupees which is quite a lot to just go for an exam to just appear in an exam right i, I really believe it must be under something like 1000 or 1500 anyway so this is the overall idea about the bits pilani technology examinations now let's look at the written test details from bits pilani and that goes like candidate shortlisted uh, for test in any of the following departments what department goes right uh, and the second thing is the candidate shortlisted in the test uh, following departments depending upon what kind of departments we are talking about we are talking about engineering we're talking about general sciences so for engineering we can go with uh, in this case you know biological sciences chemistry mathematics all this the details of the test as follow there are two different tests test one test two test one question paper consists of 30 multiple choice type questions okay for it, that includes general science quantitative reasoning analysis and research aptitude the duration of the test one will be one hour each correct answer will be awarded two marks and there will be a negative marking of 0.5 marks so that is test one okay 30 questions two marks each total 60 marks negative marking of 25 percent uh, now let's move to the test two will be the subject best and will consist of 70 70 multiple choice type question covering the prescribed syllabus of receiving okay so the syllabus that will be provided based on the subject uh, so it will be provided on a particular page in this case it's mentioned page 7 so particularly in that year that bulletin page 7 so they will give you the number of the page 
The duration of the test two will be one or two hours. Each correct answer will be awarded two marks. And there will be again, again, same thing. 25% negative marking. So again, uh, total 70 questions into two, 140 marks. And in this case, negative marking 25%. So all total, there will be 200 marks question paper. Candidates with MPhil, ME and MTech or with national level fellowship like CSIR, NET, JRF, DVT, JRF, UGC, NET, JRF are ex exempted from taking that written test examination. So it's good. If you qualify, if you already qualified for CSIR, NET, DVT, JRF or UGC, NET, JRF, you will not be required to apply for, you will not be required to apply for uh, any of this written test examination. But if you have not, then you can go for this written test examination. Candidates shortlisted for test in the following departments. What departments? Test one, 50 multiple choice type. Okay, in this case, uh, logical reasoning and all. And test two candidates shortlisted humanities and social sciences will be uh, discipline specific and subjective in nature. So the very first one is all about sciences. That includes life science, biological science, chemistry, mathematics, physics, and engineering subjects. This is for everything engineering plus science subject sorry and the second one that we're talking about is for arts and humanities uh, subjects and in that case uh, there will be t again two tests first one is 50 multiple choice uh, and second one is again simply shortlisted based on the first test examination so that's the overall details about uh, the bits pilani now let's look at the fellowship options that are provided by bits pilani after you qualify the exam because obviously it's a prestigious institute and it takes a lot of lot lot money you know for applying there so they also give you a good reward if you qualify there because it's a good scope it's a good uh, brand it's a good uh, what i can say a stage where you can explore yourself where you can really expand your knowledge so what are the fellowship options out there full time phd students admitted there uh, and uh, they'll be provided uh, with an institutional fellowship of 28,000 or 31,000 per month in the very first year based on their qualifications at the time of admission. So now they will negotiate between 28 to 31,000 rupees. Now you have to negotiate properly. That's the first thing. The second thing that we know is that students admitted with ME, MTech, MPharm, MBA, an MPhil or equivalent degree will be provided 31,000 fellowship from the starting. There is no negotiation there. But the third step is students admitted with MSc, B, BTech, uh, B Farm or any other equivalent degree eligible to again uh, receive 28,000 rupees. These students on successful completion of the coursework will receive 31,000 from the next semester. And the fourth one is higher fellowship may be made available in subsequent years. Consideration of the institute's fellowship will be as per institute norms. It will be obligatory whether on part of every admitted full time students undertake eight to 10 hours per week of work as assigned to him or her to the institute. And that's one more important thing that they provide because bits pilani, uh, bits pilani time to time hosts different things seminars symposiums and all these things and basically they will include their students to do all these things so not only your knowledge of the subject will grow but the management skills will grow your uh, personality development training will be there so in a week eight to ten hours you can you need to devote for other works other related works and if you do those kind of things so basically they say that it's kind of like a work uh, environment if you can do that your salary may be increased from 31,000 to more. But at the very beginning, start with 28,000, then we'll increase to 31,000. And it may go up with your experience, with uh, your contacts and rest of the things. And you know what, how it works in India with the contacts and all. So that's the overall idea about the bits Pilani entrance examination for PhD. I believe you have a clear idea about the bits exam. BITS have multiple campus, one in here in Pilani, another one is in Goa, another one is in outside of India as well. So you can be placed in any of these places and do your work. Okay, so if you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and subscribe to this channel so that you get to know about more this career related videos. Thank you. Bye.